I was happy for the guys because it was really a good group of guys. And um, it was something that they would have, it was something that would connect them for the rest of their lives. And, um, and then it also was just a testimony for overcoming because, you know, our plan wasn't, trust me, our plan had nothing to do with winning any kind of championship. We really were just trying to get back to some sort of normalcy and using basketball as a tool to do that. And one of the greatest things about being on a team is the, is the, is the, is, is, you know, is the fact that you can build these relationships and you can build some togetherness and you can build some, some strength through the other people that, okay, we don't have to necessarily like each other, but we do need to rely on each other. So I've often told people, you know, past 2005, 2006, that being on a team is probably the, the greatest transformative act that you can be on. And, and one of the lines I like to use with our guys is, if being on a team wasn't important, then why did Jesus draft a group of ordinary men called disciples? I've thought about this thing and i really thought about it long and hard. You know, I, I've met countless people who tell me all the time, like, reflecting on their, their moments and their memories with their teammates and, their, and things that they did, accomplished, achieved, etc. And then the other side of the coin are guys that wish they could do that, or guys that played on a youth league team and they couldn't play on a middle school or high school team. So one of the biggest things I really try to get our guys to realize is, man, there's a bunch of people that want to do this, but don't have the ability or the talent or weren't chosen to do it. And I just think we take so, so much of that for granted.